Aloha, this is Gan and Han Ling. We are uh, presenting how to share Excel files with others on your network by Paul Goldwater and Louis S. Mahoney. And in this, uh, we're going to show how we can share the Excel spreadsheet document with other people and also how we can control uh, which person can edit, save, and modify it. So first we go to review and we go to share workbook. And here, so if you have a list of users, it will show like right now it's only one person, but it will show um, multiple users. And so you click allow changes. So that you can, um, those people on the list can make change on this document and also they can share it. And next you go to advance and so first track changes and this one you can go up to 10,000 days and you can keep the history of changes but well, we're just going to keep as is uh, 30 days and also update change if you change this to automatically then every 15 minutes that you will show on your spreadsheet the updated version whoever made change and so what happens if the same person change the same uh, cell or like same part of the spreadsheet or document? Then you can um, make two, there are two options. One is ask me which changes when, and which is recommended because it will, uh, it will ask you, the computer asks you like which change you want to uh, be able to save. So we click OK. So then it will pops up as save as well, let's name this as collaborate mm, spreadsheet. And before you save it, you go to tools and general option. And that will show us like if you want to okay, open it or if you want to modify it, you need to put password so not everybody can access. So let's see, aloha123. And let's put same address, I mean, same password, aloha123. So next time you need to, uh, when you open it, you need to put password. And if you say as read only recommended, then that will be able to people to read, uh, but they cannot, they cannot uh, edit or modify the uh, spreadsheet. So click OK. And it will ask you to put the add password again. OK. And this for modifying Aloha123. So you click OK and save. So now you can see here the collaboration expression is a share. So now it means it's shared with other people. Okay, let's. So next step, okay. Next step is track changes. So if you, when somebody makes change or if you make change, you won't need to be able to see the change. So you go to track change and highlight changes. So uh, right now it's the one since I last up uh, save, but if you unclick this, it says all. And what happens anytime anyone on the list, if somebody makes change and it will highlight changes on the screen. So let's see how that works. Okay, right now, cause we haven't changed anything, so. Let's see, right now this one said 1500. Let's change this to 1700. So now you can see it's highlighted. And if you move your mouse to the cell, they shows, okay. So the person who changed and plus date and time and how it was changed. So the cell B4 was changed from 1500 to 1700. So in that case, you always can see who changed it and how it was changed, and you can keep track of this. All right, so this is Han, and the rest, I'm gonna show you other ways that we, we can uh, protect our workbook uh, from uh, being modified or changed uh, by others that we have not authorized uh, for. So. Now the function that we can do is you go to review. Okay, we press review here. You can select protect workbook. Okay, and then you have to check the structure. And here 
you can set up your password so oh, we're just gonna do aloha123 again and press ok okay then you're gonna ask you to re-enter your password that's fine so now this whole workbook uh, the, it's protected uh, it's locked with your password it has to be uh, opened by the with the password okay and uh, also um, we can also uh, do um, the range you can also select the range that that you want to lock uh, and protect so you go to allow user to edit ranges select, select that one and press new okay and we're gonna name it range one and then the cells that we're referring to we can just select this portion of it for the numbers okay and this one you can also set your own password uh, we, we're gonna do Hello, how one two three here again. We we'll do OK, and I'm gonna ask you again to re-enter. Okay, now you can see range one. Uh, this range is protected. Okay, and also you can not only protect the cell, you can also protect the sheet because in the workbook there's several sheets. So you want to protect this sheet, you go to protect sheet here on the bottom, and as well here you can do password we're gonna do the same I'll one two three and press, I'll do okay and the same thing just re-enter your password okay now uh, we go to the range the same the sheet that we were protecting and then you want to make change so for example here's 15 I want to change to 16 when I do make change it pops out the box says a cell you're trying to change is password protected so you need to enter the password in order to make change and you can give the password to the one that you authorize to make change on your worksheet. And you press OK. And now you can do changes, as you can see. That's pretty cool. OK, and then um, the last part of it uh, is it's called uh, Protect and Share Workbook. Um, so because share history is lost, if a workbook changed uh, from share to unshare, so all your change will, will lost. So in order to keep that, you want to do review and protect and share what you see here. And then you select sharing with track changes. And you also set the password for uh, your own protection. And you do OK. And re-enter again. And here you go. Uh, and then it will tell you to save your workbook. Uh, and we will name it. Uh, I'm just gonna do collaborate. Collaborate, collaborate. Spread. Two. And, uh, and that's it. You can just save it. And you're good to go. This one is protected. Uh, Alright, here's our video. Thank you for watching.